I know, I know. There. Okay, guys, I'm about to do something really crazy. I'm adopting a Caucasian Shepherd. He's bitten some people, he's been reactive, and he's gonna be all mine. He, if he gets out, he'll really bite you. So just, just wait a minute. Sit, 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 James, sit. Oh, there he is. Look at him. You know, he's a baby, eh? He's 11 months. I know, I know. Yeah. I'm gonna get you to put this on him. One of you. Don't let go. Let's put this over his head. I let you do it. There you go. Good job. Okay, now you hold the leash. Don't let go of the leash. Don't let go. Give me the pitch. It's okay, let go now. No, no. There we go. Okay, now you take the leash off. Take the leash off. It's okay, he can't get me now. And he can't get away. Come here, James. Look at you, oh yeah. Crazy baby. Come, come here, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's my new horse. I'm gonna ride him like a pony. Come here, Jamie. Come, come. Come on. Oh my gosh. You like my new baby? Come, James, come. All right, guys, so the story with uh, James, the Caucasian Shepherd, I think we're gonna have to change that name. He's a baby, I think he's like 11, 12 months old, but his behavior is very normal for the breed. I don't know why people get dogs like this, to be honest with you, because unless you live on a farm in the middle of nowhere, I mean, if it's, if it's a dog that's properly been bred for that type of job, it's not gonna be such an ideal um, pet. Are the other three kids? So he bit somebody? No. He, he? Well, well, when he was young, like when he was young. Yeah. And then it was, he bit no. somebody at eight months? Yeah. Who? He wasn't on the leash. Yeah, yeah. So we opened up the door and he like ran out. And, and, and he nipped away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the trainer? Not that the was, trainer. No. My, no, no, my no. dad, he, he bit, but that was like my dad's fault. He, James was sleeping in the backyard and my dad went in yeah. when he was sleeping and woke him up and scared him. And then my dad had a bad fight, but it, he's fine. Okay. All right, we do a little talk about uh, James. I should call him Kyle. Okay guys, so we got James the Caucasian Shepherd in the kennel. Um, you know, obviously this is a situation where wrong breed for the wrong situation. You know, they seem like very nice people. Um, you know, I'm sure they did the best they could. In fact, I know the trainer who was working with them. He's a good trainer and he contacted me and told me, I think this dog is just too much for this situation. And um, you know, if you're interested, um, I, I'm looking to rehome him. So for this dog, apparently at seven months old or six months old, I'm not sure what the exact date was, he got out of the house and he went to nip the neighbor lady. Um, and then when he was a little bit uh, older, apparently one of the neighbors came into the backyard where he was and he was sleeping and, and he nailed him pretty good. I have, I actually saw pictures of that on Facebook. And, uh, you know, he definitely made a couple big punctures there. He's a big, large dog. And even though you can see a lot of his behavior is, is insecurity, it's based in insecurity. That's what people don't understand is that's completely natural for that breed. And a lot of dogs within that breed are a little bit slow developers, right? So even though he's 11 months old right now, he's still probably the equivalent of your average dog being five, six months old. You can see he's extremely immature. He doesn't know what to do with himself. He has all these feelings that are genetic. They're naturally programmed. A lot of people buy these livestock guardian dogs, the Great Pyrenees, um, you know, the uh, the Maremas, the, the Caucasian Shepherds, and you can buy them and find ones that are really social, but on average, they're not all that social with people they don't know, the Kuvas especially. People buy these dogs and they wonder why the dog's so unfriendly with people he doesn't know. It's literally, he's been bred to be that way. How can he protect property? How can he protect the flock if he's social with strange animals and strange people? Of course he can't. 
And so you want dogs with high levels of suspicion. And of course, there's an element of insecurity associated with that suspicion. And he's going to naturally be very leery of people and strange dogs. And we need to show him now within his genetic ability, and we don't know quite what that is yet, what that is, right? So like, maybe he's a dog and I'm, I'm guessing he's probably gonna be a dog that's not gonna be social with anybody he doesn't know ever but he's definitely a dog that can learn to control himself in those scenarios. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's definitely a dog that you can see doesn't have too many handler issues. Even the handlers, they weren't sure about how to like deal with them. And he was very nice with them. And he's also very immature. So the great news is he's not like a three-year-old dog that is set in his ways. That, that's going to take more work. It's not impossible, but it's going to take more work. With a young dog like him, it's going to be a couple months. We're going to turn him around. He's a really a sweetie pie. You can see it. Um, but one thing with these dogs is, yeah, he's 11 months old now. In two years, that's a different dog now. That's a different dog. He's fully mature. He's ready to rock and roll. And he will hurt somebody if he's left the way he is. He's already hurt some people just out of, you know, being an insecure little puppy. So now we need to help him kind of get all the way there. And the goal is once we've got him where we want him, I think we're going to find him a, a, a nice family uh, to live with, probably somewhere out in the country where he can fulfill his genetic predispositions and make an excellent property guardian and maybe even a flock guardian. All right, guys, stay tuned for more on James.